Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra and we are discussing Red Hat OpenShift. So it is the third video. In first video we discussed about how to install and uninstall OpenShift into the clusters like AWS cluster or Google clusters. Then in second part we discuss what is OpenShift, the OpenShift architecture, the build, Kubernetes, uh, Docker concepts, um, and then uh, we understand uh, what are the build and deployment components of the OpenShift and uh, also discussed uh, the demo application, a little bit of demo application, which we will do in this tutorial and in the next tutorial. So uh, in this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to build and deploy application from Docker image registry and then how to create a service and route here. So let's go ahead. So uh, as I shown you in my earlier video that we will complete, um, we will deploy a full uh, application here. This application would be having three microservices. Uh, two microservices are developed in Java uh, using the Spring framework and uh, one microservice is developed in the Python. Uh, so uh, we will create a project uh, inside the OpenShift cluster. Project name would be the movie. And then there will be the uh, name of the three application inside the this. So in this tutorial part, we will uh, cover uh, this part of microservice. Means uh, we will um, deploy this Python application, P2 movie info service and we will uh, deploy it from the docker so i have already uh, created a docker image and i have uploaded this image inside the docker hub so now for our openshift deployment we will get this image from the docker and then build into the openshift then once it is get built deploy and then we will check the services and route for this uh, uh, microservice and we'll try to access this microservice from the network okay and uh, in a later part maybe in the next video we will uh, discuss the h2i concept means from the github and the docker file concept from the github so uh, let me start here with the demo part so for we will start from easy to tough one so for this for this video i will use the web console of openshift because using the web console is very easy to deploy any application but in web console, you cannot uh, run, do everything uh, of OpenShift, okay? So for, uh, for getting full control on OpenShift, you must need the CLI. So uh, later applications means these two applications we will deploy uh, using the OpenShift CLI. But uh, uh, for let me start with the easy step. So for uh, deploying the Python application from Docker, let me use the OpenShift web console. So uh, let me start from here. Uh, let me switch to the, okay. So uh, let me first show you, this is my uh, Docker Hub account. And here, uh, this is the image I have already created inside the Docker Hub. Let me show you the tags here. So uh, it is having uh, one uh, latest V2 tag, okay. So for this application, uh, let me start uh, with the OpenShift console. As you can see, it is my OpenShift console. Uh, you must first log in into the console. It will ask the user ID and password once you will log in. So that will be the first screen. It will show you the projects if there is any. Otherwise you can create the new project. So let me start by creating the new project. So it will ask the name of the project. Let's give it name movie. Okay, no need to give other information. So let first we create the project. So our project movie is has been created. Okay, now uh, it's an empty project. No applications are there. So let me first go into the uh, workload. It is showing no workload are there. So uh, by, I, we can either um, create an application using the YAML file. I will uh, I will show you all these details in later part later uh, in later part in this tutorial, and then we can add. Okay, so like it is showing you uh, from get from container image catalog Docker file YAML database. Okay, 
so as i told that this python is in our container we are having the container image from the docker image registry so i am choosing this one uh, it is now asking the image name so our image name is this one so let me copy it from here and then let me uh, paste it here and search it it is showing that uh, let me also provide the tag here okay so after giving the tag because initially it was because the latest is the default tag but for our this image there is no latest tag so that's why we have to specify the uh, uh, the tag also so our tag is v2 tag okay so we specify so it's find out from the docker uh, it is creating the application with the name p2 movie so that is the our application name we want okay and then okay so there here it the checkbox is selected uh, it is showing k saying create a route okay so it will create an external route of the application if we uncheck it then this uh, uh, this application will not be accessible from the external world so if you want to access it so let me want to access it from external part also so let me click it here and then create so now it is creating our application inside the movie project in red hat uh, open shift cluster so once we will click here so uh, it is showing uh, the logs here so a container is being created okay uh, no build because it is direct image okay so it will grab the image and will load this image inside the image registry and it has been created a service also okay so our service this service is running on this python service is running on the 5000 uh, 5, port okay so that's why it has created a 5000 port and uh, as we selected so um, it also uh, have uh, created a route of our application if we click here view logs so uh, now uh, uh, load uh, logs are being loaded it is uh, creating the pod once the pod will be created then our application would be available okay so as uh, a log has been started okay so uh, you can uh, check the log as well uh, let me again uh, goes back to the project and this is project movie project has been created uh, let me go into the uh, workload part okay so as you can see here uh, one pod has been created so as open in open shift you can uh, scale uh, your application uh, by uh, providing uh, more pod here okay you can uh, scale the uh, uh, scale the pod okay or scale down the pod so uh, here this application is currently running in a single pod okay this is the uh, pod information and the status is running okay so it is it is now this application is now ready to use so uh, let me uh, first uh, uh, go to the route of the application so uh, here again goes back to the this once we will click the uh, workload uh, if we click here then it will uh, open a uh, sub window and will show you the um, um, basic information about your application okay so here it is showing the route so let first click on here okay so um, our application uh, is uh, now running but to access this application let me uh, found out the url for which uh, okay uh, our url would be uh, just one second, give me a moment. okay uh, so uh, it is uh, our uh, code uh, so uh, our code will access this url to get the information uh, from this python web service so let me copy it here and uh, uh, let me uh, give this url here okay and give some id 
okay so it is returning the json file one uh, field is movie id another name is the movie name okay so our application is working uh, very fine okay uh, so here we have checked cross checked so it has uh, deployed the application and uh, um, uh, from the docker and this application is running perfectly okay so uh, we have completed this part and in next part we will not use the uh, console openshift console now from the next part we will use the openshift cli and then i will inside the cli i will show you the project which we have already created through console and this application and in cli i will also show you other details of this applications like service and the routes and uh, then uh, we will uh, deploy other applications like this application as a h2i and uh, s1 application as a, a docker file so this would be our main application which will connect these two uh, microservices uh, will get data from these two microservices as a json object and then will display uh, this data on the web console so thanks everyone in next part i will cover these two Thank you. Thank you for that.